breaking news. And today, yes, today, today is that magical, lovely day where you get to hear all of the goody, all of the greatness that comes along with the new Lego modular building coming straight to you January 1st, 2022. It's a huge deal. It's a huge set. Man, this this is something else. I, I, I cannot wait to give you the details on this. So, this is something I know all of you, or majority of you, adults alone especially, wait from January 1st till the new one comes out. The whole way after they had bought it, wait a whole nother year, a whole nother calendar year, another 12 months to get their hands on the next one, and you will not be disappointed by this. This looks awesome. It is called the Lego Boutique Hotel 10297 will be its set number forever and ever and ever until it goes into retirement and you punch it into brick set or in brick link in 10 years you're like man I, I wish I wouldn't have missed out at that in the beginning you know anyway so here's what this thing has to offer it is an 18 plus set obviously price tag on this is actually not uh, isn't really not too bad so let, let's talk about height and uh, width and stuff like that your height around 39 centimeters your width about 25 centimeters your depth 25 centimeters we know what the depth is i mean just think of the base plate and stuff like that that's going on but it it does have decent size to it it does look uh really really sharp in in regard to that it comes with 3066 pieces it's a good good number for a, a modular of this size and the price tag is going to be 200 us 200 euros and 180 in pounds and yeah I mean, it, it's a it's a massive deal. It's a huge set. It's it's a very interesting. So what it has on the floors, this is what you're getting. You're getting a ground floor that features a lobby and an art gallery, which the art gallery looks exquisite. I cannot wait to to man, that is so cool looking. The way that it looks, you know, just the way it appears that it is done. There is also a terrace with the art gallery reception and a palm tree which looks pretty neat, by the way. The first floor has hotel rooms. Yeah, how cool is that, right? The second floor, a penthouse suite. This really looks magnificent. Really looks sharp in the way that it is done. And then a roof. There was like a roof. Yes, a roof with a decorative dome. Really sharp stuff. And what, what I find really interesting is in there, so what, what you're seeing is, the hotel rooms are going to have distinct styles of furniture and, I mean, different types of building technique going into each one. So it, it, it doesn't keep it, it keeps it fresh. It doesn't end up be, being a kind of a redundant build or boring build by any way of the imagination, any stretch of the imagination. The art gallery features several tributes to Cubist art, which is kind of neat. The set also features in a unique angled shape which is wild to see how this is done. It, it's it's not like it's not like anything that we have seen before, as far as modulars go. Yes, you've you've got some curved roof and stuff like that, and and you've got some really nice detail on the outside, some really really distinct detail. But to to really step outside and go with this kind of shape, I mean. I want to think like the the corner garage. The corner garage, you know, ha used a, a different shape than what we're typically used to. Didn't take up, obviously, the whole base plate, you know, with just building. So th that's nice to see. I'm really curious to see, you know, how that really comes across to others, how, how they like this design. And maybe if you do, I hope it's something that they continue in the future. But with that shape, there is unusual Lego geometry. We always talk about Lego math and that kind of stuff. And that is going to be uh, completely new here. This building experience is just going to blow your mind. So Anderson Grubb is the lead set designer here. And he commented, it was really exciting to be working on the Lego boutique hotel and to have the opportunity to design this in celebration of 15 years of the collection. Can you believe it's been 15 years since I started this? When we approach the design for a modular building, we are conscious of the previous sets and therefore want to create something that is new, that really complements the collection. He goes on to say, I am really happy with the final design, the variety 
of intriguing building techniques and all the nods to the previous modular buildings, which was actually a really cool uh, little tidbit as well. So this thing coming January 1st, 200 bucks, 200 euros, 180 pounds. Get your pennies ready. I, I told you, and you, all, you always know at the beginning of the year, it just gets wild and crazy. But I told you there was something coming that you needed to brace for and start saving. One of those was the ATAT. -AT. Now you've got something like this. You're not into Star Wars. you got to be into the modulars. They're just too awesome. So with that said, this is going to wrap up the breaking news segment. But here's what I need you to do. I need you to stay tuned because I've got this thing sitting right behind me right now. And I'm going to give you all of the details, all of the goodies, all of the interesting insight on the next episode. So until then, I'll talk to you guys next time.